First, remove the four corner caps by using a flathead screwdriver. And once you see the screws, use a drill or a screwdriver to remove them. When they are removed, you can pull out the control panel. Use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the temperature probe from its casing. Separate the three quick disconnects. Then set it aside to put it in your replacement hood in a later step. Unscrew the small screws to the wiring to take the temperature probe out. You should use a small flathead screwdriver to remove them. Once you receive your new unit, you can screw it back on and put it back in the control panel. To remove the hood, you first need to remove these three quick disconnectors, turning them clockwise and then pull them off. Now remove the bolt. Use a 1 half inch or 12 millimeter socket for the bolt removal. It is important that you do not remove the hinge. The hinge and the struts stay on the base, just remove the bolt. To remove the hood, you need two people, one on each side. Slide the hood away from its base and the hood will come off. Make sure to place the hood carefully upside down on top of the non-abrasive surface. To remove the heater, unscrew all of the bolts. Take care not to lose the washers. Once you have all the screws removed, you're going to take out the screen. Next, you're going to loosen the harness. Thread the harness through the side and bring it back out the top. Gently maneuver the heater and bring the heater out. To replace the heater, do exactly the reverse. Gently insert the heater Bring the harness back through the side and into the groove.
Tighten the harness. and replace the screen. Making sure it is secure. Reattach the cover to the heater by using a bolt, a nut, and a washer on the first three outside holes. A washer is not needed for the rest. Simply use a nut and a bolt. It is easier and makes the process faster to set each bolt in its place. For the two middle holes, you will see two holes where the heater lines up. The bolt goes through the first hole. It's the same process for the other side. Now, using two people again, you can replace the hood. Finally, make sure to replace the hood bolt. And reconnect the heating harness.